story of Cavalleria Rusticana, the English title of which is called Rustic Chivalry, is an interesting melodrama. To redo, a young Sicilian villager has seduced Santuzza and then has betrayed her for Lola, wife of Alfio, the carter. Santuzza tells Alfio of his wife's relations with Turidu. The two men fight behind the scenes and Turidu is killed. The opera is written in only one act, two parts divided by the famous intermezzo. The music is vigorous and of throbbing intensity. It changes constantly with the moods and passions of the text, and though always melodious, the melodies are seldom finished or sustained. Pietro Mascagni, whose new opera, Lodoletta, proved the novelty sensation of the metropolitan season of 1918, he is a native of Italy, born at Leghorn in 1863. His father was a baker who wished his musically inclined son to study law, for he had no sympathy with an artistic career. The boy was befriended by his uncle, however, and given an opportunity to secure a musical education. His early career was anything but promising. He secured a post as assistant musical conductor of a small traveling opera company, which finally disbanded, leaving Mascagni stranded. With a wife to support, he managed to exist by giving music lessons. Then came Cavalleria Rusticana, which took the public by storm and made Mascagni famous overnight. The intermezzo from Cavalleria is one of the most widely popular melodies in all opera. It occurs in instrumental form in the opera, but is given here as an Ave Maria. Its quiet, infinitely beautiful melody needs just such a perfect voice as Frida Hempel's to do it justice. This artist, whose appearances in leading operatic roles with the Metropolitan Company since 1913 have placed her in the first rank of operatic sopranos, is generally acknowledged to be one of the three or four greatest singers in the world. The violin obligato that you will find so effective in this recreation is played by Mary Zentai whom Edison owners and the concert-going public know as one of the best women violinists in America. <laughs> 